They say, educate a man and you have educated a household. They also say, educate a woman and you have educated an entire nation. Most responsibility are gender ascribed. Well, I call it societal constructed reality. Because for me, what a man can do, a woman can do much better. Ladies, grab a seat. This segment today is for you, only you. No offense to the male folks. If you love your ladies, you can grab a seat too. Hello viewers, my name is Latifa Tajao. Welcome to Auto Guide, the only TV program where we discuss and enlighten you on all you need to know about the components that make up your vehicle. We will be talking about those simple and basic components in the car that the lady should know, should be aware of, and should be able to handle without having to call a mechanic. It is sad and funny to see ladies stranded and frustrated whenever their car breaks down in the middle of nowhere. Some ladies know nothing about their cars. I've seen ladies in front of their open bonnet, clueless, not knowing what to do, not even knowing what to touch. Most of them just kickstart their car and zoom, they're on the road. Have you ever thought of knowing what you are actually driving? In case of emergencies and appointments that you might not be able to see a mechanic or organizer in sight. Today, I will be taking you through those basic and simple components that you should know. It could be a lifesaver. You know, ladies should always have a fellow ladies back. You know, I got you. This is the radiator. You know, the radiator is a type of heat exchanger. It is meant to transfer heat from the hot coolant down through to where the air blows through the fan. The radiator needs water. This is where the water goes in and the radiator coolant. This prevents your engine from overheating. Have you ever seen where so much smoke comes out from a bonnet and you wonder what's happening? That's engine overheating because there is shortage of water in this radiator tank. So ladies, before you leave your house in the morning, make sure you check this to be sure that there is enough water to carry you around to avoid being stranded on the highway. This is the brake oil. The brake oil is a type of hydraulic fluid that works with hydraulic shocks and clutches and brakes, which comprises different car components. This helps to keep the brakes working properly. So if you're short of adequate and quality brake oil, your brakes might fail. And I know ladies, you don't want that to happen. And it is advised to change your brake oil at least once a year. Let's go to the next one, the engine oil. The engine oil deals with internal engine combustion. This is what makes the engine work properly. It's used in automobiles, motorcycles, generators. It prevents engine knock. I know you must have a hearing, engine door knock and all that. That is what happens. And there's also an oil gauge. This shows how to know whether your oil is properly gauged or not. This takes us to the transmission gear oil. Let's fix this back properly. The transmission gear oil takes care of your gears. It allows your gears to move swiftly and help you to change gears without problem. But you need to check whether the oil is in proper gauge. This is the power steering oil. This oil takes care of your steering it enables your steering to move swiftly without hanging, without being stiff. So you need to check whether the oil is working properly. This is the windscreen water tank wiper. In case you're driving at night and probably your windscreen gets blurry, you don't need to come down and pour water on it. With just the button from your car, the water comes up and wipe your windscreen and your wiper does the rest. And ladies, do not forget your wheel spanner your jack and your sea cushion sign, fire extinguisher, of course, must not be missing in your boots. You know, in terms of emergencies, car breakdown failure so that someone could help you. And the sea cushion sign, is, it sends communication to the oncoming drivers to know that there is a car parked here so they can drive with caution. And the last one, your tires. 
to know whether your tires are properly aligned. After you have parked your car, start right in front of your car to check whether your tires are in the right alignment. You know your tires are what carry you around and it will be bad if your tires are faulty. Check whether your tires are strictly arranged, aligned. It is very necessary. Thank you so much for staying with us on today's segment of Auto Guide. It was simple, right? So you see, checking the components of your vehicle before starting out is so easy. And I hope you have learned a lot from it. And do not forget we talked about the radiator, the engine oil, the brake oil, the transmission gear oil, the power steering oil, and your windscreen wiper. You can also try it at home. Go check it out and confirm everything that I've said. And you will see that you will be saving yourself a lot of trouble. My name still remains Latifat Ajao. And keep watching Auto Expert. It's your guide to your safety.